Investigators are working to learn more about a heavily armed man police say threatened to kill people at a Fort Worth church. Police also believe he killed a dog outside that church. Fox 4's Dion Anglin joining us with more. Dion. Hi there. Well, federal authorities are leading this investigation. They're working with Fort Worth police, looking further into the man, as you mentioned, who was found or arrested at this church with a small arsenal. Police are investigating the intent of a heavily armed man arrested at this East Fort Worth church on Wednesday, an ordeal that prompted a bomb sweep and the involvement of a Homeland Security unit. 26-year-old Roman Collins faces charges, including making a terroristic threat, cruelty to an animal, and having a firearm in a prohibited place. Mid-morning Wednesday, police say someone called 911 to report a dead dog in the church's community garden. Officers responded and found shell casings and a rifle near the deceased dog. Later, around 4.30 in the afternoon, the same day, another 911 call from the church. This time, someone reported a man inside holding a shotgun, making threatening statements about killing people. Investigators say when officers arrived, Collins was inside the church standing near a gun. They immediately detained him. A little nerve-wracking to hear that that's what happened. I didn't know that's what it was at all. I was not aware. Blake Burlingame was at his sister's home nearby and saw the commotion. He's surprised to hear what police have revealed. Investigators say after a search, they found Collins to have multiple weapons, not only the shotgun, but a handgun with several loaded magazines, a large fixed blade style knife, medical equipment, and a water canteen. His truck was parked outside the church Police say inside the vehicle, officers found a rifle converted to use handgun magazines. I'm a gun owner, so, but you gotta stay, keep yourself protected. But you know, I, I'm at a loss for words right now. I don't really know what to say. It's not what I expected to come out here and hear. I wasn't sure what went on. I actually thought it was a medical emergency or something, so. Like I said, that's sketchy. Public records show Collins is from Wisconsin, but has a local address about a mile from the church at this apartment complex. Police say he had been attending the church for several months. A Fort Worth PD SWAT team searched his residence with the help of the FBI and ATF. Now, the investigation is ongoing. The Homeland Security Unit is the lead investigating agency. Uh, we should point out there is a small school that is connected to the church on the south end of it here. It's uh, reported that those students were already gone. They had left for the day when this occurred.